So, the Dallas Mavericks have officially been eliminated as they rested even Luka after the first quarter here against the Bulls who rested their guys and Kyrie didn't play after, well, this rough possession they lost which was um, hilarious. Uh, fun way to end the season, Mark Cuban was uh, smiling and he's a loser, man. I just dislike Mark Cuban after this season even more. And I think, I personally really think he's to blame for a lot of problems in Dallas and how things are working. But let, let's talk about everything first, right? The, the Dallas Mavericks have officially been eliminated from playoff contention. So they can't make the playoffs this year and it's a rough uh, stay, especially since they were in the conference finals last year. Although, of course, you can question uh, how they get got there in a way, but... Uh, what you can question is that they were there, right? No, no matter whatever happened in any of those, uh, any of the, you know, the playoffs, they were there and they were playing really good basketball last year. And then Jalen Brunson of season dilemma, he leaves for New York. You start off weird once again, but they were still the fourth seed, which they were last year also, right? When they went to the conference finals, uh, right before they acquired Kyrie Irving. And then uh, after they acquired Kyrie, now they ended at 11th, right? And of course, a lot of people will put it just on Kyrie because, well, Kyrie is the easy target and a lot of people just uh, despise Kyrie, hate Kyrie for uh, a lot of things. Some of which I do actually agree with and some of which I just don't understand. But he's an easy target and people just love easy targets, right? People love to pile on somebody who seems like an easy target a lot of the time, which I want to do here. I don't think this is Kyrie Irving's fault at all. I think this is all Mark Cuban and his... Uh, Tom Fuller and everything and with Kyrie I still believe this duo could really do some damage if they do get proper roster construction around them if you know Kyrie ends up resigning with the Mavericks which we just don't know it's really unpredictable at this point but uh, of course the uh, Mavs did dip in form but there is just a lot of things going wrong right and he gave Mark Cuban gave uh JaVale McGee a contract that was worth 10 million a year, Luca doesn't like him or Jason Kidd doesn't like him, that's a problem, he makes Jason Kidd the coach because well Rick Carlisle didn't fit Luca also, which of course you can put on Luca also, as Jason Kidd once again after a good first year appears to be a really bad coach with a lot of mind, num mind numbing decisions this year, so a lot going on really, right, and it's just nasty and the Mavericks have a lot of questions to answer in this offseason firstly of course do they resign Kyrie Irving can they resign Kyrie Irving will he want to resign in Dallas Th those are a lot of questions we don't know what we do know is that Mark Cuban and the rumors have said that they want to resign Kyrie uh, what is also being said is that Kyrie wants to test out the free agent market so of course we'll see We'll see what uh, will happen with Kyrie, but uh, it's a lot of uncertainty with the resigning. And Luca, of course, could grow to be impatient and could just want out of Dallas with how the well, how everything worked out and is working out so far uh, after last year, especially, right? And it's just mind numbing, man. And I feel like Mark Cuban really deserves a lot more slack for a lot of deals, for a lot of uh, you know. Uh, roster management and a lot of it just deserves to go on Mark Cuban, man. He just, you know, I feel like people just think he's good, a uh, good executive and a good, uh, just, just good in general, while he just doesn't seem like it, man. And some of the decisions were wrong, whatever you agree with some Christian Wood trade, whatever it is, Kyrie trade, whatever it is with. Jalen Brunson and everything around that dilemma and the contracts and the Knicks and the family and just everything, whether it is the Porzingis deal. There's been a lot of stuff that happened with the Mavericks that just was wrong. And just because they had Dirk and won one championship with under Mark Cuban doesn't mean he deserves to, you know, uh, be forever just uh, the guy that is right for the job, right? And some would argue that it was one fluke year and all the other years just uh, proved more and more why he isn't fit for the job, man. And yeah, I might might be speaking out of my ass here, but I just feel like Mark Cuban's time has kind of 
uh, ran out, but who knows, we'll see what happens, maybe they make great moves and uh, resign Kairi, win the title next year and all this, this video will just be uh, uh, one funny memory to look at, we'll, we'll see, and I'll probably do more in-depth video about these Mavericks, but uh, we'll have to wait and see for that, and I'll take my time about that, and do it in the off-season probably, we'll see, uh, but let me know your thoughts, do you think Mark Cuban's time has been, uh, you know, has run out, do you think Luca could leave the Mavericks, do you think Kyrie should resign with the Mavericks, will he resign with the Mavericks, let me know anything you think about these Mavericks, and the situation about Dallas, and their playoff elimination, and I appreciate y'all,